Hello and welcome to your, um, I already lost count, um, but this tutorial will be on images. So let's go. Um, so you probably have seen these tags before, the image tags, the, the tags that have the letters IMG inside them. And again, these are another unique tag that has the closing forward slash within the same tag. And in order to refer to the image that you want to have appear on your website, you have to type in the uh, letters SRC, which stands for source, equals, then double parens. And inside these parentheses, type in the name of the picture. So, well, I guess you can already tell what picture I have waiting in the wings. Uh, but there's, but uh, I want you to note that there's only three different file types or extensions that are supported by, uh, I guess, every browser, I'm not quite sure. Uh, and that's JPEG, PNG, and GIF. In other words, JPG, PNG, and GIF. Uh, my guy is a JPEG, so I'll be using the JPEG. So I'll click Save, and then I'll refresh this page. Ah, and look at that, there's the picture of my little smiley. Well, not mine, I found it, nevertheless. So there's many different things that we can do with this image. Uh, for an example, in case it doesn't load, you can have an alternate name, alternate name, that appears where the image is supposed to. So I'll type in the word smiley, and let's say I just misspell this. I'll click save, and when the image doesn't load, you've probably seen this before. When images don't load on your browser the words take their place. So I'll throw that I back in there. Okay, the next things that you could mess with are the height and the width of the image. So first, let's try out height. Type in any number and bear in mind that it's in pixels. So I'll try 50px. And there you go, only 50 pixels uh, high. You can also mess with the width. This is going to not really make a difference. You know what? I'm going to change the dimensions because I think this image is a square. So unless I change the dimensions, it won't really do anything. There we go. Now it's 75 pixels wide. And as you might have guessed, uh, if you want to change both... Oh, I already did that one. You can. And now it's deformed. Hmm. I guess I, I well it, it is useful I guess when loading a certain image in your website in order to fit somewhere. But I'll think before that before you use that image, you already have it cut to the dimensions that you want, so you don't have to do this. Because well, personally I don't think that's any good. Uh, now after the image, we can type in a little paragraph. I would just type in, hi, my name is Adam. I'll click save. And as you guessed, it appears right below it. So what you could do is type in, oh, let me see if I got this, style equals, and then float, and then what direction or where do you want the image to be? I want it to be on the left. So I'll just put left. And there's your image. And now that you have it in a fixed position, the next paragraph now appears next to the image instead of below it. And of course, you can float it in the center and the right as well. So next uh, comes uh, horizontal spacing. The spacing horizontal this way. Think of the x-axis on a coordinate plane. So this will also be in pixels. So you type in like 5 pixels for example and what will happen is 5 pixels should be added onto this side and 5 pixels should be on, added onto that side. And they were. Very small, very subtle change but it's there. You can also do this for, there's also a V space as well. For vertical, but uh, 
I don't have any text down there, so it, I, I can't really show you an example unless I break a whole bunch of lines until I get down there. That's like three lines. I'm too lazy to do that. Okay, so let me get rid of this. Uh, another thing I should probably point out is I'll get rid of the height here. Is you can also use percentages as well instead of pixels. So instead of px, I can put a um, percent sign. Whoa, you know what? That might be too big. Let's just go 50%. And that's how far across the browser the image will stretch. So there you have it, 50%. That's that's roughly half right there. And yeah, you, and any time that you 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 can use pixels, you can also use percentages. Uh, this pretty much wraps up images. This this was a pretty short video, uh, but uh, that was pretty much everything. So I hope that you can now use images thoroughly now, and later I will I will show you uh, more advanced features of the image.